In this video, I'm going to talk about data that you need to collect so that you can hit your target when you're out on the range. I'm talking about DOPE, data on previous engagements. Knowing exactly where your bullet will go when you pull that trigger will make sure that you have an impact or a clean kill when target shooting. The most tried and tested method for knowing the ballistics for your bullet with your rifle is to create a dope book or a dope card with data from your previous engagements. Recording your actual bullet data will help you know where your bullet is going to go for any given range. The four most important pieces of data that you need to collect to make your ballistics app or your Kestrel work correctly are muzzle velocity, ballistic coefficient, zeroing range and scope height. To measure my muzzle velocity, I used a lab radar. I fired a group of five rounds and then that gave me the average muzzle velocity for my rounds, which were 2,539 feet per second. So as you can see, one of the things that Kestrel asks in your gun profile is your muzzle velocity. The next thing you need to know is your ballistic coefficient, your BC. This will differ for every type of bullet that is out there. The ways you can find this is you can look on the manufacturer's website. And they will list the ballistic coefficient for that in G1 and G7 normally. If you're using factory ammunition, you can look on the side or the back of the box. That will give you the feet per second or meters per second muzzle velocity at specified ranges. Zeroing range. I zero my rifle at 100 yards. Other people might zero theirs at 100 meters or 200 yards or 200 meters. It does make a difference to the data that your ballistics calculator or your ballistics Kestrel will give you. It's very important to know exactly what distance you have zeroed at. The next most important measurement is scope height. So this is the height from the center of your barrel to the middle of your scope. Conveniently on my rifle, I have a hole which lines up with the middle of the barrel and I use split rings so I can use the middle of the split and the hole, use a set of calipers and then that will give me the scope height above bore. Remember, when using a Kestrel or a ballistics app, the data you get out from your device, i.e. elevation, wind, etc., is only as good as the data that you have put in to that device. Your muzzle velocity, your ballistics coefficient, your zero range and your scope height. So how do I record my dope? Well, I've got a couple of methods. So if I turn up to a shoot um, and I've got time to laser the targets to get the distances for them, um, I like to draw a sketch. So this is an example of one of the shooting areas that I use. As you can see, I've sketched out the layout of the land and I've also lasered all of the targets that were out my front. So to try to be helpful, I've done all my distances in meters because a lot of my friends shoot with MRAD. And also I've noted down in the boxes my drops. So this is my elevation dial for each one of those targets. So that at a quick glance, I can have a look to the targets out to the front of me and I can see exactly what my elevation dial up is for each one of those targets. As I'm shooting, if that elevation is incorrect, I will write in a new number, which is the correct elevation for my round. That way I know that when I go back to this area, I can take a look and I can see exactly what I need to dial to hit those targets. When I'm shooting, I also create a little ballistics table. Personally, I don't record everything. I only record the environmentals for the day, so the weather, the humidity, and the temperature. I then record my actual dope, so distance, elevation, and my wind call. And again, this will adjust as the wind changes throughout the day. When I get back home, I then update my dope. So what this is, is every distance that I shoot at or I've shot our target at, I will then note the, the distance in, I've put the distance in meters, 
the distance in yards and then the elevation for that distance. So that will help me next time I go to a shoot because I know that is this is exactly what my bullet does at those distances. Another way I write my dope down is using a dope card holder. So for this, this is just a Coltac uh, cheat sheet, I believe it's called, uh, but it just attaches on my rifle so that I've got the dope with my rifle whenever I need it. With this one, I try to keep it simple. So I've got D, which is my distance, E, which is my elevation and these are only for the targets that I'm shooting on. So when I come to a stage, I can wipe it clean, I can laser the targets, I can write down my new elevation, and then I can just simply attach it to my rifle and then I've got it with me when I need it. For those of you who've got Vortex Optics and use the Defender caps, another method, you can print out your dope and you can have it inside your Defender cap. Now I've gone all out here really. Um, I've got distances from 50 meters to a thousand meters and I've got my dope with them. At the moment I've just got a paper one in there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to confirm it and then I'm going to go back home, reprint it, laminate it and then stick it in my um, scope cap and then again it's with me all else fails. But that's not all. So I watched a fantastic video the other day uh, by Ryan Kleckner uh, and he gave a fantastic tip in there for practical dope. So I'm just gonna show you what I've borrowed from Mr. Kleckner. So how about this for an amazingly simple yet effective method for having the dope on your rifle at all times. It's a piece of tape around my elevation turret and what I've done is I've drawn on the dope for my rifle. At the moment, it's set to the zero, the 100 meter position. Let's say I have a target pop up and it's at 450 meters. Done, 700. Done, 800. Done, 525. Done. It's as quick and easy as that, and I don't need to read any dope books. I don't need to read my cheat sheet. I just need to have a look at my dial and turn it round to the corresponding number. Now, what I've done for each of the 100 meter increments, I've got a small line and then a number. And then for the 50 meter, I've got a large line. And then for the 25 and the 75 meters, I've just put small little lines. return it back to zero. Like I said, I borrowed that from one of Ryan Kleckner's videos. Uh, I thought it was amazing, had to try it on my rifle. Um, I think it's awesome. Once you've collected enough dope or enough data on your previous engagements within your dope book, what you can do is you can print off a sheet of all your elevation data. The other thing I've added on here on mine is I've got the wind speeds. So this was using data that was in a Kestrel. So I painstakingly went through the Kestrel for each of those wind speeds and collected that data and wrote it into this chart so that I've got the data with me and I don't need any electronic devices. So if my ballistics app fails or my Kestrel fails, then I've got a backup. It's not just the batteries that go on electronic devices. You could drop it, you could smash the screen but it's always good to have a backup hard copy of your data. Your dope book, dope card, and bullet data will help you get your bullet on target every time. Points to note, the data that you collect in your logbook is for you. It's your bullet, your rifle. It's not necessarily transferable to anybody else. It may give somebody a rough estimate to help get them on target, but this is for your specific bullet on your specific rifle. Knowing where your bullet will impact at various ranges is a key part to accurate shooting. Don't forget to always take your dope book and dope card whenever you go shooting or to the range. If all else fails, you've got that data that you can rely on. Remember to practice your fundamentals and do lots of dry firing training to improve your shooting.
Right, let's get out to the range and see these dope devices in action.